All right, guys, what's going on? We are here up in the Maroons Blue Mountain, Moore Town. We're at Nanny's, um, her grave and a memorial, the monument, and we're gonna get a tour from one of the people that actually lives here and owns land up here. I'm here with the Valkyries. We're gonna get a little history on how the people from the Kingdom of Judah, now known as Ghana, how we made it and survived here in Jamaica and are still here. Let's get to it. So wait, all right. So when you hear about, um, I'm going to show you something off camera though. After this. Oh, what? Yeah. Right. yeah. Um. So this represents, and and this was put here by the National Heritage Trust, but. It, it says some things and you know I want to explain it to you. Alright, so when you hear about guerrilla warfare, what do you think of? Well, war. War, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Rebellion? Yeah, yeah. Know. But guerrilla, guerrilla warfare, guerrilla tactics, guerrilla skills are for small groups of people. Fight in the jungle, yeah, use fight, the terrain. Yeah. They use it. So it's a tactics that you use against a larger group than yourself. And use nature on themselves? Yeah. Camouflage. Oh, yeah. Camouflage is invented by Maroons. So hey, before that, if you just remember all the wars you can remember, back with the English and the Spanish, there in these some big red coats standing up in these open fields, one line of man like that, one line of man on the other side and them shoot down each other. They're blending well, with they're blending blend with nature. Yeah, we don't have we don't have the numbers. Plus we're not that stupid. <laughs> You get me? You can't stand up in front of a bullet. No. What we do, we hide and strategically catch them with a we, 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 we know the land. Yeah. So we can Yeah, we use, a jungle, we yeah. use a jungle to our advantage. Mm -hmm. And this is how we conquer them. So that is how we use the guerrilla warfare. Then it come back and show you that um, Queen Nanny used this. To, she practiced it in the Eastern Maroons um, to, to, to confuse the British. It speaks again about supernatural power. You get me? Just mm. drinking water at your house, just the water in your glass, that's supernatural power. Science is something that is around you every day. What they them afraid of is black science, which is African science. Because they don't understand because it. Because they don't understand it. Remember if you get some tang or some Kool-Aid and mix it with sugar in the water, that's chemistry, it's science. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Science is around us every day. So it's how we use the science. Seem like the herbs around you, so you crush them, you can use them for different things. When we have a pan with Ike, I can show you, you know, the different ones are used for different things. This is the only, this is the World Heritage Site, the UNESCO World Heritage Site plaque. It was um, put here in 2015, of July, July 2015. Um, it's the only one of its type here um, in the Caribbean. And why it's so is because other Caribbean islands only have um one like this one it shows for culture and natural properties for some caribbean island it have for culture it have for music it have for natural properties just for one but jamaica is the only one for the blue and Drunker mountain that has culture and natural properties so we're the only one in the caribbean that has one like this we're the only ones yeah do a hike go up to Nanny Falls, mm -hmm. then you'll get a, a better understanding why it is like that, you know. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so let's make a trot to visit Queen yes. Nanny. I like to start here. Uh, so this is the grave site of Former Colonel CLG Harris. Uh, he was uh, a teacher at most of the schools within the Rio Grande Valley. Um, was also a principal of this school here, Moreton Primary and Junior High. He was uh, a senator in the Jamaica Labour Party. He's also an author. Uh, write many books. His most famous book is Teacher. And he was the one who was very instrumental in advocating for Free Nanny to be a national heroine mm. in 1975. 1975. Yeah. Uh, there's something again. 
So this is um, the monument, Queen Nanny. Um, you see it reads here. Nanny of the Maroons. This is a bump grave. So there's a story that I wanna um I wanna I wanna try to get um you know um together. Did Nani ever meet King Taki from Ghana? Because there was a king from Ghana that they brought over his neck over here called Taki. Um Taki Taki Hera and Nani Hera was like a hundred years apart. Yes, they, oh okay. Yeah, so Taki was more in St. Mary. He's also Maroon, a rebel, um a science man. You know, um Taki was the one that let them after ban Obia in Jamaica. Really? Yeah. Why? Because they use it against them. It was. It is. Yeah, in, 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 in the Indian Revolution. Revolution. Um, that's Bookman. Oh. Book, Bookman is the one that leave Jamaica. Is a maroon from Jamaica that leave Jamaica and went to Haiti and start the Asian Revolution as well. So. You know, and and him started uh -huh. with, with with doing our ceremony, killing a hog and burning the fire and some African spirituality. Even what we're doing now, with all the revolution that you're seeing happening across the world, we'll never conquer them unless we get the spirituality involved in that. Mm -hmm. All of this protesting in the street, everything else, mm -hmm. all of that, it will never happen unless we start burn some fires, burn some incense and chant to our ancestors. So they actually feared it? Definitely. Yeah, That's why they make it over and look like it's something it's bad. So bad when it's not something no, bad. Because it's African spirituality. It's, it's our culture. Yeah. Wow. If you notice in Jamaica, the people that are demonized, the Christians that are demonized in Jamaica are the revivalists. The poor exactly. people, yeah. the people that have the African have retention, the, African retention with it. It the Kumina yeah. people. Yeah. Them, everybody so call, they know this, those, these, these are Christians yeah. doing and them are church people, you know. But people but, but call them Obia yeah, workers and them African culture and, 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 and them still have them glass of water yeah. with A lot of the things that, that are African that culture, African culture yeah. have an African background, they demonize it. Demonize yes. it. So they will tell us that wow. you're black and you're ugly and anything all black not too things. good. Yeah. And yeah. All anything, all anything black to dash yeah, and all of these things because yeah. they tie it. What they do again to, for you females, they try to put you in the back of everything. And if you check African cultures, the women are the grandmothers, yeah, the ones that lead. Why we are struggling as African people right now is because we take on this European concept of we men. We put the men in the front. front. Let me, you know something? That is why I only brought women with me. Yeah. Literally. I, that I is don't, it, I literally. Don't. I tell her all the while, she know this. She do, I, don't, I don't like man company. I, I don't strive. know. I don't use, but most time a man, he must have see things like how he must see things. So me and him work. He said, if see things as a man, because man have balls in it. What balls is competition. It's always football, netball, baseball. It's competition. So we always in competition with each other with that ego, that extra masculinity. I thought, I thought it was females who always No, competing. man. Females are more nurturing. <laughs> a lot of females, especially that, in the workplace, that, they fight against each other. That, um, because they taught you that. Mm. The original, if you notice, you're very nurturing. You're easy to sorry for people. Mm. Why people get to use it over and over? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not yeah. editing that out. <laughs> <laughs>um, to fight back and give freedom to the Maroons as you can see I there was something that was on my mind regarding King Taki um, you know, But there was a century apart, but he also played a big role um, in helping you know um, Our brothers and sisters in Haiti as well with the revolution So as you can see our Ashanti and Cromanti people they kept the war going, you know we wasn't trying, in my last video, remember I was telling you guys, you know, we weren't trying to hear that. And I was serious about that. We weren't trying to hear that. And, you know, a century or two later, oh, look at that bright sun. a century or two later, here we are in Jamaica. We are the descendants of our ancestors. And a uh, lot's not being done to preserve our culture, our lineage, our, heri our heritage, and our history. But um, I can't speak for other people. But uh, I know I can speak for myself, and I'm not going to let it rock where our heritage and our legacy 
is lost, not up in these mountains. Okay, so we just got a good refresher at Nanny's Falls. So, you know, we're heading back now. You know, did the Just Dance sequence. God is a woman. That definitely works for African people. And now we're going to talk about some of the games that uh, we used to play. Um, you know, before slavery, during slavery, and after slavery. So these board games, you know, because African people are naturally gamers, it's been in our heritage for years, our culture for years, part of our history for years. And now we're going to be heading back to um, Nanny Town to talk a little bit more about that and go over some of these games. So see you guys in a bit. So, Maurice, yeah. what are some of the games that we have here in Jamaica that you think connects us to um, some of the games that they played in Ghana or in Africa? Uh, we could definitely say uh, Dandy Shandy. Dandy Shandy, yeah, all right. It, it, it definitely, even if you look at it and what it's play, you can see the, our retention in it. Um, and Lude is one of them things. And in any Lude. other things that, any other game that is connected to our, like, our common heritage that is brought from Ghana here. Alright, cool. So, for, for like the games now, we mentioned like Ludi and Dandy Shandy. Mm -hmm. But then, the, them children, them never have like Super Nintendo and all of them looking you know, the, what the latest one we have now, um, Xbox and all of these and things. Switch. Yeah, you get me? So, because them never have these things, games like Dandy Shandy, and Ludi was a, was a game of We're more creative. We're yeah, more recreational. creative for recreational, recreational activity. So that was like you you go at the shop and man be playing Ludi and uh, that was the way of you know and them be there drinking them beer and so forth. So that was a type of way you know where we would and I think it, it shows you know every little thing what we do based on every um with cooking because yeah. you know um there's never a gathering in Jamaica without cooking. True. Yeah. True. <laughs> There's always cooking, so you know what I mean? We're always a, a set of people, we're always everything that we do. Any little gathering, 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 gathering of people, we always have music, music with the drums. And drumming, and we always have food. And food. And, 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 and we want to call it liquor, liquor, we call it spirit. Spirit. Yeah, because it will maintain the energy within the space at the time, you know? The word Kromanti is derived from the word Koromantine. Koromantine, yeah, and uh, and Koromantine is is a place in Ghana where the people Koromanti Koromanti people are from. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
And they call the Cromanty people up here now Maroons. Maroons. So the but the word Cromanty people are the Maroons. Yeah, the same but, the Maroons, but the Maroons, but the Maroons, the word Maroon derived from the word Cimarron, which is a Spanish word that was given to the, the our mm. ancestors who were living the, in the mountains. The, they call them the, the so the, um Cimarron meaning wild and untamed. So it's the Portuguese. The Spanish. Spanish. Spanish, yeah. At this time, gave them that name. Name, yeah. That but was before the British came. Before in. the British, because the word maroon, the first time the word maroon was used was like about 1666 or some 1655, somewhere around there. So that was long after the, the, the Spanish. You get me? But the Spanish used to call them cimarrones, wild and untamed. Okay, guys, so that's it. Um, I think we covered a lot up here. We're gonna to have to come back here, that's for sure. There's yeah, so man, much to cover. Yeah, man, there's so much. We have Watch Hill, Pumpkin Hill. There's so much more about the history that we, we could sit down a whole day and talk about, man. We've, you know what I mean? So, we'll come back next time. We'll cook a pot of carcoon with some touch. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Make some ginger beer. Yeah. You know, with the real Jamaican ginger. And we'll kick back, you know what I mean? And we'll reasoning and you know, discuss all about the Cromanty people. You know what I mean? Just Cromanty experience. Experience teaches wisdom get the experience. So I learned a lot uh, from Maroon Rasta Yao. Um, like he said, we're going to be back here. We're going to learn a lot more. A lot, of, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, where our heritage goes as far back as Ghana. And uh, people don't even know that yeah. Ghana used to be the kingdom of Judah, <laughs> literally the kingdom of yeah. Judah. It's actually posted on a map. So we'll see you guys in part two. This is part one. Don't worry, there's going to be a lot more. We'll eat more. We'll eat more, so we'll check you guys then. Later. Yeah, man, balance.